Hello everyone, this is Mike Carlson, Project Manager at Kativ Technologies, here to introduce you to the Kativ's Vault Basic Do-It-Yourself Package. So, of course, you're going to ask yourself, right, what is this Do-It-Yourself Package? Um, first off, it's Vault Basic in the 2015 format. So, you know, I mean, let's kind of back up a little bit uh, why we even created this. Um, I, I've, I notice a lot on the forums and social media and, and other places that a lot of people often post, hey, uh, I've installed Vault, now how do I use it? Or where's an implementation guide to Vault? Or how do I get this Vault up and running for my organization? Right, it's, it's something in the Vault, in the box, so why not use it? Um, that's really why we're creating this. It's going, you know, so again, what is it? It's Vault Basic. It's 2015, no service pack. So this is a 2015 uh, release to manufacturing or RTM. Uh, and what we're going to include with this is a pre-configured Vault instance. So this is going to be a backup um, that you're going that you can download and restore into your Vault uh, installed environment. Uh, so we're gonna. The, there's gonna be a bunch of videos to support this, and I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail uh, later on on that. Um, now, inside this pre-configured instance, we have some users created. Again, kind of just generic users, uh, really just showing what the different functions would be and what their role would be in the vault. Um, a project file is configured for Inventor. There's a folder structure. We have some sample data as well inside there, uh, both AutoCAD and Inventor data that exists. And uh, some other configurations been done just really to, for you to, to, to um, ensure that you're using the best practices on this and going to be successful. Uh, how we're going to support this is through a bunch of instructional videos. So there's going to be a series of videos. Um, this, if you want to call it, is the intro one. So this is number one, and there's going to be a series after this uh, that's going to go through everything from install or preparing for your install to installation, uh, configuration, or reviewing the configuration, and use with Inventor and AutoCAD. So, you know, of course, I'll kind of step back a minute here and say even why Vault, right? Uh, uh, I honestly believe that everybody, whether you're a one-person organization or a 300, all, all can benefit uh, from PDM, right, and can benefit from, from what it offers. Um, in the first sense, sense, maintaining file relationships, right? So whether you're using Inventor, a parametric modeler with uh, relationships between drawings and parts and assemblies, or whether you're using AutoCAD that has F X references to uh, other environments, um, those are all file relationships, and they need to be maintained, right? Uh, I'm sure all of you listening to this have experienced uh, some frustration around file relations. Whether it's been you renamed a file, and the next time you open your assembly, it couldn't find that part you renamed, or you moved it to another folder, or even maybe not even you, maybe somebody else moved it, right? Now it's even more of a task to figure out where the heck it went to. Um, you know, if you moved it, you may have a you may have a chance of figuring out where it is. Um, but in that network folder environment, those those file relationships are not maintained um, by anything. It's just a function of where it was last opened in your vault. The other piece is being able to find your data, right? So in a in a network folder or in your folder on your drive, you can search by file name and maybe date modified and maybe the person maybe the person who modified it. Well, in the vault, you can search really by a whole slew of metadata. Um, those of you using Inventor, you can search by all the I property information. Those of you using AutoCAD, if you're using attributes in your title blocks, you can search by all those attributes. You do have, even have some capability to do content search within the files as well. And kind of the third big bullet point I'll, I'll put on here too is, is really backup and security. So, you know, I say backup, you may think to yourself, well, IT is backing up my network folder that I put, that we put our files onto. Uh, you know, honestly, I don't I have yet to go in an organization that people don't have some sort of files on their local machine. Uh, and by doing that, you're not getting an effective backup out on your network, right? If your content center files are being saved to your local machine and all your other files are being saved to the network, well, just back, backing up that network environment isn't getting your content center files. And that's going to create a problem if you have a failure. 
So why are we offering this? Um, uh, again, going back to talk, what, what I was talking about in the social media or on the forums and everything, I see people often asking, how do I get this going? And really, that's this is an answer to that. Um, and in doing that, we want to remove any anxiety you have to implement this. So, so you know, understand this is not an application. It's not like Inventor or AutoCAD where you can throw it on there and take off running. Uh, it requires some thought. It requires some understanding of the architecture, sure. And our videos are going to explain that and go through that for you and hopefully reduce that anxiety and even potentially your talk you may need to have with IT for things such as a server that may need to exist. Uh, everyone's going to benefit from this, right? So now all your CAD users can now maintain their file relationships, not go through the frustration of finding files, uh, and, and know that you're getting an effective backup, and you have a little additional security with login capabilities. Through the videos, we hope to ease the implementation as well. So right, if we're giving you some a sandbox out of here to start with, get familiar with it, and then as soon as you're familiar, you'll know how to adjust it to best fit into your environment. All right, so how do I get this? Some of you may already know. You may be on our website, and that may be how you're listening to this video. Uh, you may be on YouTube picking this up or some other channel, um, but get to it from our website. You go to our website. Look for the Kativ Do-It-Yourself Vault. Um, in there, you know, we, we're saying sign up because you're going to download the backup that you're going to restore into your environment. So, you know, sign up on there. You'll get a link to where to download the backup from. Uh, watch all the videos. Please just sit down, watch through them all. I'm trying to make them short, make them effective. Walk, look, read through them all, or excuse me, watch them all. Uh, and then go back and watch them as they apply to the function that you're doing. So as you're working through the install, go to the install video and look at that. The next video in the series will be the planning before you install basic, the Vault Basic. Understand the architecture, understand the system requirements necessary to make this effective for you and your environment. Thank you and see you in the next video.